Okay, so I just figured out what happened for the like the double transmission of the cam frame, and now the oscilloscope is bugging out. Let me reproduce that. So yeah, so now you can see it's the the data is transmitted twice with incorrect uh, parameters, and that's because. Yeah, so I may have figured out before, but I forgot and I just re-figure out. So I think I need to document this in in order to just not forget it again. So here I'm using a like a advanced feature of UART. It's called uh, it's here. <laughs> it's called uh, receive to idle. So because we are sending a variable length UART message to the CAN adapter, and because like the data may vary from zero bytes to eight bytes, so uh, we need to configure. Oh, basically we need to use this function to receive, because like for normal UART transmission, whether it's DMA or interrupt. It requires a fixed size, and after that size is reached, like that, after that number of bytes are received, it will call the interrupt and handle the data. But now, uh, this fun what this function do is like we pass in a buffer, just similar to the other two methods, and also a target size. So if the number of bytes are exceeding this size, it will trigger the interrupt and do the processing, that's fine. But also, if the data is not reached to this number of bytes, but the bus length is idle for like one byte or more, it will also trigger the interrupt so that we know a frame has been received and we can start to process, the, process that data. And the problem here is that ST is kind of stupid, so uh, here's a thread discussing it. Here's the link. Uh, basically, uh, so DMA has like normal and also circular mode, and to to be able to make it compatible for both of the modes, so ST decides to uh, combine those API calls into single into this single uh, register function, which I think it's a very silly idea. So that, like, not only when the DMA transfer is finished, it will call this method, but also like when the DMA transfer is half complete, like half of the number of bytes are received, it will also call, call this function. And in the user code space, we have no uh, no method to know like which function is calling this uh, interrupt handler. So. The solution is either to implement some kind of fancy like handler to handle the half completion, or we can just simply <laughs> doubling the number of bytes to like twenty four or even to be safer like thirty, so that like we are trying to receive thirty bytes, and if we are not going uh, not receiving fifteen. Then the half completion trans uh, handler will never be been called, and also because we are only like using twelve uh, bytes to represent a can frame, that's under fifteen and that's very safe. So, yeah, here's the simple solution, and let's try that. Okay, and reset the oscilloscope, transmit it again, and we can see now there's only one single frame. Great, ST, great.